today tutorial is how to fix shaky footage with Vegas Pro 17 and here I have a video clip um, that playing here in my timeline and you just watching through the preview window you can tell it's really terrible it's very shaky now this video clip here was shot on on a gimbal uh, on a rolling car and the car was moving roughly about 30 to 45 kilometer per hour it's not that fast but because of the wind resistance causing the gimbal to vibrate and jitter but uh, you can still fix the footage here with Vegas Pro 17 now um, I'm running on the latest update uh, build number 321 so their recent update on the Vegas Pro 17 they fix major uh, bugs and issues on the software including the warp stabilizations I usually don't get a really nice stabilization with Vegas Pro uh, late, uh, before this but uh, with the latest update 321 it worked like a champ so there's a two way of applying the video stabilization in Vegas Pro the first way uh, the newest way I would say is by going to video effects tab go to Vegas folder and just scroll down and search for video stabilization effects just drag and drop it this is the new method but uh, I don't really use this method because whenever I do edits on the clip we have to reanalyze the stabilizations but there's a reason why they uh, have these features uh, the original way or classic way of applying the video stabilization on Vegas Pro is by make sure you highlight and click the video that you want to stabilize on your timeline and then going to tools video and media effects and search for video stabilizations press add hit ok meaning you apply the video stabilization straight into the media itself alright so under the media effects tab here uh, for a user view, you have three options. You have basic, professional, and expert. But I often select professional because uh, it's not crazy, it's just a few things, and it'll automatically done for you. But if you want to dive even more um, detail settings, you can go to expert mode. But professional mode is more than enough for me. So in the ex, uh, the, in the professional uh, parameters. There's a two uh, uh, function here. You got the method and the motion compensations, and of course, you want to select the accurate uh, analyzations. Uh, or if for some reason you want fast, you can just select fast, but it's not as accurate one. If you select the accurate analyzations, now the motion compensation you have four uh, options. You have translation, rotation, scale, and warp. So translation, I often use if my gimbal shots is not that bad, it's just to have the up and down jitter, I will use it. Or if the footage is really bad, like this video clip here, I will use warp. I rarely use rotation and scale, but the translation and warp work just fine for me. So for now, we're going to select warp and just uh, press analyze motion. And Vegas Pro will start to analyze your media or your video clip in the timeline and apply the desired amount of stabilizations based on the analyzation it, uh, it has done. So let's just wait for it to analyze our footage. All right, guys, we are back, and um, here just by watching through the preview window, you can see it fix and stabilize our footage really well. But uh, it depends. If you look in the middle, it stabilizes very well. But if you look at a corner, you can see some jello effect due to the warp stabilizations. It all depends on your clip as well. Okay, so if you go to the media effects parameter, um, once I done analyze, the amount of smoothing it's applies ten percent. It all depends on the video clip itself. If your video is not that shaky, it might show like one or three or four percent, but in this case, it put all the way to ten percent, or I'll say it's hundred all the way to hundred percent. It's depending on your clip. Now the borders, I often leave it uh, enabled, which means it will automatically zoom or scale the video uh, if you're using stabilization. So it does. You don't really have to zoom all the way in. Uh, to do some stabilization so it will like scale by itself to retain the quality 
as much as possible. So that's how you apply video stabilizations on Vegas Pro 17. And if you have any question related, you can just leave it down in the comment section and see you guys on my next video. Thank you.